All right, guys. Um, so I just learned something very, very exciting, um, and that is that um, we now have volumes in Cycles X, which is very, very cool. And so I thought I'd make a quick video about it because I only happened to find this through some obscure tweet um, by Brent Patterson, who does who I just started following because he does cool Nebula stuff, and I was trying to learn that. Um, and he mentioned that Blender 3.0 is doing some amazing stuff. Um, and I saw this, and I was like, hey, that looks like Cycles. And I didn't know that... I guess I, I kind of thought that Blender 3.0 Alpha had Cycles X in it already, um, but it didn't. But it... Or it doesn't, but I went down the rabbit hole of... Uh, of the dev talk about Blender and figured out that they have implemented volumetrics in Cycles X. So that's really cool. So we're going to try that out. But yeah, as you can see, we got this little nebula cloud that I've been working on um, this morning and it's doing fine. This is Cycles X and it's working. So, um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try rendering this. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're not going to do 32. We're going to do I think I my I think I had it at 200 and then volumes. I'll just put this at 0.7 for the step rate render just to make it so it doesn't take forever. Um yeah, okay, let's uh let's give this a go. Okay, we're done. Um turns out I didn't need 300 samples. That was way too many. But yeah, on my RTX 3060, it rendered in five minutes. Um, and so now we'll hop over to regular cycles and check that out. Okay, settings uh, should be the same, so here we go. Okay, so now we have finished the regular 2.93. Um, cycles render and we are at five minutes and 57 seconds so almost a minute slower than cycles x and i'm sure there could be a lot of optimizations as well to to go along with that so yeah that's uh that's pretty cool i'm pretty excited to to see this yeah, I guess I, I don't really know how the developer.blender dev talk or anything works, but I found this page that um, is just kind of talking about getting the normal cycles features back into Blender. And it's got a list of basically everything that I'm, I'm guessing that they're working on and still have to do. So um, for our case, if we look under volume rendering here, um, basic absorption, scattering, and emission, that's kind of what we just checked. Oh, and I guess camera in volume, so that's checked, so that is good as well. Um, I'm not too sure. I think that's screen subsurface scattering in volume. Not a thing yet. And equiangular <laughs> sampling. I have no idea what that is, but that's, uh, that's that. And I just wanted to show you guys the old Cycles X. Uh, this is the one I downloaded in like May or something like that, and as you can see, my nebula is just a big dot in uh, in rendered mode. Kind of kind of shows something in Material Reviewer, but, but yeah. So not working there, but working in New Cycles X. Okay, so I want to show you guys how to get Cycles X because that's something I was a little confused about for a while. I thought I could just download the 3.0 alpha, but I just tried downloading that today and it did not work. So what you want to do is go to blender.org and download Blender. And then you should be able to go down to this red bar and download Blender Experimental. Then the secondary drop down menu comes up and then you go experimental and here it is. Um, this is the one that you want to download with the Cycles X. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'm very excited and I hope you guys are too because this is a very cool thing that's happening. So, and Blender is just awesome. So, yeah.